So we need to get our priorities right. And we need to think about the commands that we've been told to implement and to look at where we are falling short the most. Or also to look at where we can get the most advantage. Which good deeds can we do to get the most return on our investment? The best ROI, the best return on our investment. How can we get the most out of? Because our time is limited. What good deeds can we do to get the most out of it? So we have to learn that in order to stick to Allah's straight path. And of course, we have to begin with the obligatory and then add the voluntary. And the problem with some of us is we tend to sometimes add the voluntary and miss the obligatory. I'll give you a classic example. Ramadan comes. Ramadan comes and it's taraweeh time. So the taraweeh prayer, which is after Isha in Ramadan, and everyone is standing in prayer, and they pray all night until half an hour before Fajr. And then half of the congregation goes and goes to sleep. And they don't wake up for Fajr. And that's exactly how not to do it. Why? Because taraweeh is a voluntary deed. By a clear hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, taraweeh is not an obligatory prayer. And yet fajr is an obligatory prayer. So the first concern should be getting the obligatory in and then adding the voluntary. And that's not to take anything away from the voluntary. We don't want to take anything away. The voluntary is extremely important. In fact, if you want to become from those who Allah loves to the point that Allah answers your dua with whatever you asked for, then you have to add the voluntary deeds. You have to add them. However, when do you add them? You add them after you've become firm and established in the obligatory deeds in that particular area. And this is particularly important for the people who are not praying regularly. So sometimes I see a bit of a problem, and that is that people say, okay, I've decided I wasn't praying before, I'm going to pray five times a day. 